Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am incredibly happy to show you that I finally got my Steam Deck. I managed to get my order at 7 past 6 on the day, so I was constantly hitting refresh. And then we had the Q4 delivery date, which got pushed down to Q1. And then I managed to get into the third batch and finally got my delivery today. So today I'm going to do a very quick unboxing just to show you what the packaging looks like and how it performs out of the box. So firstly, it comes with this information slip. It's saying here that we need to plug in to charge it and the power buttons on the top. On the back of this, we have some interface guidelines. So next up is the power adapter. So this is quite cool. It's got a little portable cube on it. Uh, this is a 45 watt power supply. This is definitely one of the more powerful power supplies I've seen in this configuration. For example, this is the equivalent Apple charger for my MacBook. This is a 30 watt charger, whereas this is a 45 watt charger. Valve have basically managed to fit more power in the same size brick. However, unlike the Apple chargers, it doesn't feel like I can take off this charging end. It looks like it's sealed in. This is a shame because the Apple chargers, they obviously remove, and then you can actually swap this over for any head. You can swap it over for a longer cable if you wanted to, onto the main event. So we have this nice kind of premium feeling slip that goes over the top. We could just slide this off. We have this perforated edge here, but don't worry about that. So this is just the standard case. This is because this is just the 256 gigabyte model. And we don't have the premium case that comes with the 512 gigabyte model. So what's interesting is that on the zip itself, there's a kind of security tag. So here I'm gonna use a pair of scissors to get this open. So here we've got this valve security tag. Okay, and there we have it. So we have our Steam Deck here. So before we go on to this, I'm just going to show you the case as well. These grips are like contoured in. You can see the screen has a little protection area here. We've also noticed at the back we have this strap. I think this is where you can store the power cable. That would just about work. I'd be slightly worried about this falling out. And we have this white strap here, so you can just lift it out. So I'm just very impressed with how this looks and feels. The buttons all feel really good and this actually does feel comfortable. So one of the things I was worried about the most was having the buttons here on the edge, feeling that might be a bit uncomfortable to reach in and out, but that feels pretty decent. And the back trigger buttons also feel like a very comfortable position. So you know, I'm glad that they've done this kind of contoured grip. So for example, on the switch, there isn't really a contour. You have this kind of edge here, this does make it a lot more flat and it's a lot thinner as well. However, the contoured edges give it a lot of comfort. So here we're just going to turn it on and just going to press the power button here. So it's not turning on. So really what I should do is plug the power cable in. So here we can see the Steam Deck icon coming up. So I'm just letting this boot up now. So I'm just going to show you the screen. I can see a little bit of the reflection from my lights there. This does not have the premium kind of matte anti-glare coating, which the 512 gigabyte version does. If I just angle this up slightly, you'll see that that reflection is kind of quite striking. So here we're just going to do a quick setup process. There are so many ways to do the input for this, it's kind of crazy. So we can use the D-pad, we can use the joystick, we can also use the haptic track pads here, we can also use the touch screen. There's so many options for configuring the Steam Deck. So here I'm going to select Greenwich Mean Time, and then we're going to find our Wi-Fi network. So here we can use the on-screen keyboard to do this. So this looks like it's installing an update. Ah, here we are. And tap on the screen. So I've got these two Steam button and a quick access button. And then I have my entire library here. I'm going to search for the most popular game on Steam at the moment, Elden Ring. So here we're going to press install and then accept. Now it's saying it's going through that install process. So I'm launching this for the first time on the Steam Deck and I'm gonna press the play button and we're gonna see how this works. So right now it's just installing some dependencies. So we're installing DirectX for Windows and all of this is going through the Linux Proton compatibility layer so that it can work on SteamOS. So finally, the game is loading. It's even loading the Easy Anti-Cheat version. I didn't have to disable Anti-Cheat to get this running. So they must have made an exception for Easy Anti-Cheat in this version of Proton. So the text does look a little bit small. Let's just check what the graphics settings are. So we're running at 1280 by 800. Auto detect best settings. This is at high. We're running at 30 FPS, roughly 32 FPS. This is so impressive. I mean, this is a DirectX 12 game, triple A title, the most popular game on Steam right now and it's running really well on the Steam Deck. I just can't believe how good this is. So one of the cool things about the Steam Deck as well is because we're running on SteamOS, we have this custom sleep function. So if I press the power button here, then this is going to put it in a kind of suspend state. And then if I want to resume the game, all I need to do is to press the power button again, 
and it just boots up exactly where we were. So this is a huge improvement over the Windows version, which cannot be paused at all. So anyway, I'm very impressed by the Steam Deck. I can't wait to do more testing on this in the future. And if you didn't know already, I also founded the website PC Gaming Wiki. And over the last week, I've been working really hard on creating a new compatibility table for Steam Deck on the PC Gaming Wiki website so we can look at all the compatibility listings for every single game. And also the main Steam Deck article, which contains a list of all of the different launches that can be installed here. So you're not just limited to Steam, you can also install the Epic Game Store games and Origin games. Ubisoft Connect, etc. All those are options as well as getting Windows working. So I'll leave a link to that article in the description. It's something that I'm going to be working on and keeping up to date as time goes on. So if you'd like to see more, then please make sure to follow this channel. If you like the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.